Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you're welcome to my channel. I know you are here because you want to find out how Ghana mistakenly and mysteriously built the biggest roundabout in the history of West Africa. All right, let's get on with this. So Ghana has mistakenly created a lot of things. The biggest mistaken creation, all right, is the Volta River, which turned out to be the biggest river in the entire world. I mean, on the surface of the planet. So how was it created? The government decided to build a Kosombo Dam to generate electricity for its people, and it ended up getting the bonus of big huge river which as we know now turned out to be the biggest river in the entire world so this right about we are come to talk about have similar faith all right so how was it created but before we start we should know that this biggest roundabout is located in a city called Takrade. Takrade is the third largest city in Ghana and one of the underrated city, if not the most underrated city in the entire country. Why is it underrated? It has everything that a big city should have. It has domestic airport, it hosts Ghana's second biggest seaport, it has a football stadium that hosted West African Cup of Nations. In fact, there's a football astroturf pitch in almost every community in the city. That's crazy. Apart from that, it's called the oil city because the capital of the region where Ghana export oil i mean it holds the jubilee field the region which this city is the capital of i mean produces or i mean come to con contributes more than 50 percent of the entire wealth of the country so that's what i mean by underrated city and yet it also holds one of the most broke people <gasps> don't come for me you're not broke i'm just saying all right i mean a city like this you have a lot of rich people everybody when they go on the break to they want to go to accra that's not why we are here we are here to talk about how this biggest roundabout is made so this is the roundabout if you check google map this is how you see the roundabout to be around it you have bands companies and also it serves as an intercession to other areas in the city like the beach road, the harbour. I mean wherever you want to branch out in the city, you start from here. And it's also a huge tourist attraction. A lot of people come from different areas just to come and get their head spin around this huge roundabout. I mean imagine just coming from anywhere just to get your head spin. That's <laughs> so how was this roundabout built? About 93 years ago, this city was very thriving. They've had a new seaport. I mean, the first seaport in Ghana. So a lot was going on in the city. People were flourishing. There was a lot of commercial activities. And there were a lot of fishmongers and traders, buying and sellers. So they all decided to come to the city center to trade among themselves, all right? So these people gathered together in the city. So these people gathered so these people gathered together in the city center to trade to do business together to buy and sell and many different business activities they raise uh, sheds for themselves and for their families and for their trees and all that then the city began to grow around these traders right so the local government contacted the engineers and planners of the city and said wow why don't you build a market instead of telling them to leave why don't you build a market in the middle i mean where these people are let's build a good market there so that they can be there and trade so the city planner created the market circle so actually the original idea was to create a market but they had a bonus of having the biggest west african roundabout so this is how the market looks like so this is how the market looks like the market actually is really huge i mean it really gets you confused i've heard a lot of stories where people say they got lost around this market circle because they wanted to go uh, to a certain place and they ended up going around whirling around and moving around till their head got spinning now all of a sudden a call out appeared just telling them where they should go <laughs> so obviously this roundabout and this market circle is symbolic not only in ghana but in the entire african region a lot of people come from different areas to just come and have a look at this and move around this it's like a mecca then all of a sudden the government of ghana decided to break it down destroy it i mean dismantle the entire market circle but why would the government do that the government wanted to build an ultra modern market which would arguably be the most beautiful market in the entire west africa and yes mistakenly make it the biggest roundabout in the entire region of West Africa. This video about this video you are watching is kind can see Tadi in focus. If you want to see whatever is happening in Takrade, I mean the market and the roundabout, whatever is happening from the date was from the date was dismantled up till now. The progress, want to track the progress, you can go to his channel, subscribe and just follow up. All right. So finally, we had excavators coming down to destroy everything. It was pretty much emotional because a lot of people have some kind of attachment to to this very market. I mean, it's, it's so monumental. I mean, their fathers and their great grandfathers and aunties all treated there, and I mean they've had very beautiful feeling about this market they've had families there people they, they all work like family all right and all of a sudden they said they're coming to break it down and with some skepticism because they didn't know after the market has been completed they made new who really really would get the chance to i mean sell there all right so very soon ghana wouldn't just host the biggest runabout in west africa but yes 
and yes it would also host the most beautiful and biggest roundabouts you can find in west africa yes so let me know what you think if this is cool or this is not cool just let me know your thoughts i'll see you in the next video bye